Preventing catalytic converter thefts is hard. Portage police say the best way to protect your vehicle is to park in your garage if you have one. But scrapyards say they're doing their part as well. Fox 17's Julie Dunmire explains. Portage police say for the last three Sundays, something sinister has been happening at a Sunday service at a church in town. They're hopeful that they just put a stop to it. A local scrapyard telling me, meanwhile, they ask a lot of questions when someone brings in a catalytic converter. I'll just round it up to about 450 bucks scrap. This isn't Tommy Stagg's first time around the block. When someone brings in a cat, we, uh, we get their name address, have them fill out a paper here. He goes by JD, short for junkyard dog, a nickname he got decades ago. Then there's a three to five day wait while we uh, find out how much it's worth. JD works at LNL Recycling in Paw Paw. They've started asking folks who bring in catalytic converters a lot of questions. It protects us from getting burned. Because, well, so many people have started stealing them. The thief ain't gonna leave a catalytic converter here with their name and driver's license. This part that looks like a honeycomb is full of precious metals. Some catalytic converters can go for up to a grand. We changed our rules when everybody started stealing them and we haven't had no problems. Thieves with not a care in the world from who or where they take from. We were made aware January 16th and January 23rd that uh, catalytic converters were being stolen during church services. The Radiant Church parking lot in Portage is empty on a Monday. Sundays, however, prime time for a thieves pick of the lot. It did happen at other churches around the area around the same time as well, just as we're connected. We've we heard about these things and yeah, it is. It's a little shocking. January 30th, Portage PD was ready. What we decided to do was put uh, an officer in an unmarked car uh, for the third Sunday in a row at the same church and just so happened that the suspect showed up again. Showing up to steal, ending up arrested. Just uh, appreciate a lot of good, uh, good police work by some good officers this weekend. Radiant Church says they're thankful for their cameras that were able to help prevent this, encouraging other churches to go ahead and follow suit. I did reach out to a lot of shops in the area of Kalamazoo over to the course of today, and they tell me that most of these thefts are occurring in Honda CRVs. So if you own one of those cars, be extra cautious. They also say that those things that you can buy from AutoZone that you can put on your car to make it harder for a catalytic converter to be stolen, at most just make it take longer, according to them, the, the experts I spoke to at the machine shop. So they're not 100% effective and they want to caution people who are using those as well to know that it's not going to stop the catalytic converter from being stolen, essentially, but it is going to make it take longer and hopefully the person can get caught. Portage police saying that they're just grateful for this police work and that they were able to make an arrest. Reporting in Portage, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.